Hello, hello, hello. I am the Linux Mensch. Today, I thought I would go through a video and install OpenBSD. Now, I've never installed OpenBSD. I've never used it before. And I haven't watched any videos on it. So I really don't know what I'm doing. Now, a few months ago, I installed on camera free BSD. And before I did that, because I've never used the BSDs before, I watched several videos from different people on how to install free BSD. And I installed it, I think, three or four times. I think three times. I installed it three times and made sure it was working before I made a video about it. So when I did my installation on video, I think that was my fourth installation. And... The only problem I had with it is that when I installed it, my mouse didn't work. And I had to plug in a secondary mouse into my hard drive. And I had to tell, set the virtual machine to use my secondary mouse. So I had a secondary mouse for FreeBSD, which was installed as a virtual machine in Vert Manager. And of course, I don't know if that would have been a problem in VirtualBox or in VMware or in bare metal, but it was a problem for me in uh, Vert Manager. So this morning on camera, I uh, went to the website. I showed you what the website was about and how to download the ISO. And then I made my virtual machine and I started to do my install. And the, my mouse and my keyboard wouldn't work. So when I installed FreeBSD a few months ago, my keyboard worked. The only thing is I had to have a secondary mouse, like I already mentioned. But this time, my keyboard wouldn't work. My mouse wouldn't work. Nothing would work. I couldn't get my system. It was like my system was frozen. But OBS was still recording. So anyways, a few days ago, I did a video about Control-Alt-Delete for Linux and if you hold the alt button down and the system rec button the sys rec button so at the top of your keyboard on the on the right hand side not the far right hand side but on the right hand side at the top of the keyboard there's a key that's on the top of the key it's print screen and on the bottom of the key it's sys rec s y s r q so what you do is you hold down the alt button and the sysrec button and then you type in r-e-i-s-u-b resub and it will reboot your system so what i ended up doing was i held down the alt key and the sysrec key and i typed in r-e and it unlocked my system and kicked me out of the awesome window manager and it brought me to uh, the login screen. So I logged back in and of course it shut down OBS and I lost all the video. So the video I made, it's there, but it won't play. The file is corrupted. So I can't show you what happened. So now I have two keyboards hooked up and two mouses hooked up and we'll see if I can get this thing going. So before I do that, I just want to take you to the website and show you what I downloaded. So let's just open up uh, my Brave browser. I'm going to type in open BSD. And I'm going to click on this one. And I went to download. And at first, I downloaded this. This top one here, but that was the wrong one because it's not an ISO and I couldn't boot into it. And I did that on camera, but that's lost. <laughs> the file is corrupted. And then I went and downloaded this one, because this is the ISO. And I downloaded the AMD one, AMD64. But I'm not going to download it now. Now it's about 800 megabytes of RAM. Sorry. Now it's about 800 megabytes, and it downloaded in like three seconds. Download it faster than the Arch ISO. And the Arch ISO is the fastest one to download normally. But this was even faster. And I was really impressed. I'm telling you, like three seconds and the thing was downloaded. So I'm not going to download it again. But this is the one I downloaded. 
and this is an ISO from April. It's their most current ISO. And let's see if we can boot into it and get it working. So we're going to pause the video while I create a virtual machine in Vert Manager and I'll turn the video back on and see if we can get an installation done. So now I'm in um, Vert Manager and I made a virtual machine. I gave it a 20 gigabyte hard drive, four processors and four gigs of RAM. And I have two keyboards hooked up and two mouse hooked up or should I say two mice I don't know so anyways I booted up into the system and like I said I haven't watched any videos on how to install this thing and I hardly remember how to install FreeBSD because I did that video two months ago so I think what I'm going to do is because I don't want to get jammed up again and I don't want to lose the first part of this video in case I have to do a resub or a reboot and actually it didn't reboot the whole system it just brought me out to the login manager but it loosened everything so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop recording and save this first portion of the video and then I'll start recording again and then I'll edit them together otherwise if the system freezes up I'm going to lose this part of the video like I did the last time so let's stop it so I tried five times and every time I boot up into the system and I try to use my mouse or my keyboard, the whole system freezes up and I have to do a resub and get kicked out of the system into the login manager. And also, besides the fact that everything shuts down, the OBS recording gets corrupted. So I can't even play back the recording for you so you can see what happened on screen. So I don't know if this is a problem with Vert Manager or QEMU or if it's just a problem that happens generally with virtual machines. So I don't know if it would work in VirtualBox or in VMware. But hey, I'm using QEMU with Vert Manager. So, and I presume there wouldn't be a problem in bare metal, but I'm not going to try it. I'm not going to erase one of my computers just so I can test the system. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you've had success in installing BSD, OpenBSD in a virtual machine, maybe I'm using the wrong ISO. Maybe they have a special ISO for virtual machines. I don't know, let me know what you think in the comments and if you've had success with it. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video and please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. I am the Lennox Mensch. Bye bye.